Hello. Today I will talk about the main TS file in Angular. So uh, the main TS means it, it basically helps to bootstrap our Angular application. And uh, so here what we have, uh, I will talk about the bootstrapping the application and what is the role of main TS file and why it is important. So uh, as you can see in the Angular project, uh, we have uh, um, this file. Uh, let me show you where it is available. So this file is available in every project. So uh, when you create a new project, then you will get this file in the uh, SRC of the project. So here you will see the uh, here you will see the main TS file. And in this, what we are doing here, we are bootstrapping our application. Whatever the module you will pass here, so. Uh, your module will be bootstrapped. Uh, so what is this bootstrap here? So as you can see here, uh, this this file is a starting point of the app which is declared in the Angular JSON file. So this thing now is declared in the Angular JSON file. So let me show you Angular JSON also. So this is a main TS file that we have, and uh, so this is the Angular JSON file. This is a configuration file. So here, we, uh, here they have configured this file to bootstrap our application to run our application. So this is a very important file in the Angular application. So to run the whole project on different platforms, we need to boot, bootstrap our application. So why we need the bootstrapping of the application? So basically to run that whole project on different platforms. So this project, Angular project, can be bootstrapped in multiple environments. So this uh, file, uh, so this file helps in uh, bootstrapping the application in multiple environments. To do this, we just need to import a main module to the environment. And then after the Angular looks, the execution of application will start. So as I showed you, uh, as I shown you, so here now, what whatever the uh, module we are going to pass here, so it will bootstrap that module. So this is basically how a browser compiles an, to an Angular application to show UI. So in the module, whatever the components, whatever the things you have added, so it will render there. So AngularJSON references for handling the startup of the application. As we know, means uh, as we know, this is about the AngularJSON file. So that it references to for handling the startup of application. It is just a simple script file. It compiles the application with just in time and bootstrap the application. <clears throat> so it is a uh, it is simple JavaScript file means what? Uh, so it compiles the application with just in time and bootstrap the application. It bootstrap the application and uh, it compiles the application with a just in time. So there, as we know, there are two a type of compilation like a, a ahead of time AOT compilation and another version GIT and just in time compilation. So it is just in time compilation. Uh, this follows the just in time compilation. So what is bootstrapping? Bootstrapping is the process of how to make an Angular application load and uh, taking control take control uh, of the of an HTML page. So bootstrapping is how to make an Angular application load and take control of the HTML page. So as we know in the app component, in the app module, we have the app component. So whatever the things are written in that means this basically renders the HTML page. So whatever is written in the component, main component, so it will render that UI. So it so bootstrapping uh, is how is how to make an Angular application load and take control of the HTML page. So in the in the older version of Angular in which we have Angular CLI JSON file. So in the previous versions in the old versions like Angular six and Angular uh, in the Angular four. So we have Angular CLI JSON CLI JSON file. Now we have Angular JSON file. So in the older version of Angular in which we have Angular CLI JSON, these scripts are also also are included in that. So this and this main main TS is a, a script file. So it is included in the Angular JSON file. When you run the npm start or ng serve command to run the application, uh, it generates bundles. Uh, so as we know, uh, this command is used to run the project. This command is used to run the project. Let me show you. 
so what it do it it uh, to run the application it generates bundles and automatically depend, append these files to the index html at the run time so uh, so let me run this project so what uh, they are saying uh, so if you run this project <clears throat> so it after uh, so if you if you run this with this command then it will create uh, it will compile the application and create some javascript files and it generate bundle and automatically append these files to index html file so uh, after run, after running this uh, project i will show you uh, the index html file and uh, uh, it it basically uh, append all those files to the index html the first code has to be executed from the main ts file from these bundles so the first code is basically handled from here so let me show you after running the project so it is run now so you as you can open this here So is, it is the index HTML file. If you open uh, here uh, view page source, as you can see here, it appended the uh, all the uh, JS files. So as you can see here, so these are the files that it has appended in the index HTML file. So now you can see. So it generates it generates the bundle of runtime JS polyfill JS styles JS. So you as you can see. So this thing is. Uh, is uh, help, is going uh, with the main ts file it is important it is essential to understand the whole project file uh, so main ts file is a crucial part of the application uh, that's why we add the app module in the main ts file to execute the application so this is a sample code that i have added here and this thing will help to compile an angular application to show ui so this is the role of main ts file and it is very important file so you um, you also need to understand about this file mm, thanks for watching